Good evening, my pizza party pals. It's your boy, guy in front of a green screen. And I've been asked to make a tier list of all this shit, and I'm going to do it, all right? We are going to do all of the Rumbleverse skills, every single rank. Uh, what's the date? Let's see, what is the date? It is September 2nd. So, if this is outdated, if they're like, wow, you see this video two months from now, and you're like, Ant, Javelin Spear sucks. What are you talking about? Why are you here? <laughs> Go watch the newer one. Let's kick this bad boy off with Choke Slam. It's not bad. It's, you know, you grab him and you fucking ba-boom him. I don't know. Some of these are going to be... You know, I'm not going to go crazy about it, because there's just not much to say. There are better versions of them, so I'll probably just talk about the best version of it and then work my way down. The perk video was like 15 minutes, and there were way less than this. So please, uh, like, I, I'm not going to give you a detailed analysis of the choke slam. It's, it's a move. I, if it's the first box I open in the whole game and that pops out, I will read it. That's a good review. I don't know if there are any of these that I wouldn't, but I mean, let's go. Uh, little spinny. The, the spins aren't like, it's funny because this spin is very good. Omega spin is great, but the other ones... I mean, what makes this so great is when you're fucking going, oh my god, that like, the, the, the suck, the amount of distance that you might catch someone who, like, doesn't look like they're in your hitbox, and they get whooshed right into it, yeah, it's very good, this may actually even be S tier, but we'll, we'll get into it, uh, but the other ones don't do that as much, it's just like a nice get off me move. Uh, I like all of the spin things. Uh, like, what really stands out is the fact that you can use it to counter rolling. You know, I mean, dodge rolling is quite good. Uh, and this move is perfect for dealing with dodge rolling. Uh, you know, someone is very defensive uh, and they block a lot. And the moment they see you charging one of these moves, there's a very good chance they will go for a dodge roll. Uh, here, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because it's in the conversation. Where the hell are you? Here you are, big boy. It's the same thing with this bad boy. The same thing. You, like, you charge it and you wait for them to roll. And once they start that roll, you kind of just wait for the moment they pop back up and boom. Fucking baited. <laughs> very good uh this you just kick them right in their ass bang uh this one's better because you know uh, it's, i don't know right in their ass bang but then cosmo shot you know is, is pretty goddamn good it comes out pretty quick it's a nice like you can almost like poke with it you know it's it's not a vicious attack so it beats out people who think you're going to like land in front of them for a grab uh if you have this combined with a grab it's a very strong combination because you're essentially 50 50 in your opponent i mean th their reaction time just might be very good um but a lot of the time it kind of comes down to them making a read you land right next to them and you either cosmo shot them or you javelin tackle them or you know uh, diamond crusher them and uh you know if you go for the diamond crusher they could have at the very least react with their attack and if you know they they think you're gonna do that and you hit them with the cosmo shot it, it's just this pairs so well with grabs it's very good very strong uh all right let's see the big grappy this one's a bigger meme i i, I like these about the same amount because you still pick them up and fucking woof them like oh way over so um you know doing this off of buildings in the beginning of the game uh, it just kind of makes for good laughs. It's fun. I think I'm going to put this one a little higher. It's just better. It's, you know, higher, more velocity, uh, yada, yada. 
Uh, super kicks are pretty good as well because they come out so god dang fast and it's another one that you can charge. I'm pretty sure the blue one you can charge. Uh, I might be mistaken about that because I simply just don't use super kick very often. Uh, fact is there isn't a legendary version of it so you just don't see it as much. Or le purple, the fucking purple version, legendary, whatever. Because late game, you probably are looking for, you know, I mean, the purple ones are going to be the best ones. Uh, these are subject to change, but you see what I'm saying. I'm just going to keep... Ex see, this is why this video is going to take fucking forever. I just talk so damn much. Uh, Bad Breath is a very interesting one. It's another chargeable, um, and it's a chargeable poison. You can hold it. And then when you like you wait for it to max out, you let go and you can walk with it. You can, you know, shh, uh, people. And I mean, you know, hitting them with poison is pretty it's pretty safe. It's it's a nice option to especially in duos. You know, you just kind of walk around and go, blah. Oops, sorry, I fucking booped the mic. Bah, you know, you and you just poison everyone. It's pretty it's pretty good. Uh I would probably put it over the super kicks, honestly, but again. Uh, by the time, like, finding your equipment is, is weird. Or finding your skills, whatever we could call these supers. Uh, because, you know, in the very beginning of the game, you might land on a gold crate. And then in the gold crate is Omega Uppercut. And then you're like, okay, well, you know, I'm never replacing this. I'm keeping it for the rest of the fight. Uh, and that happens pretty often. So you don't really get a lot of time with these green ones so i mean none of them are bad here's the thing it's a weird tier list because none of them are bad they're like you want them in the very beginning of the game you want to land you want to get them because if you don't do if you don't if you do not have them then your options when fighting people are terrible you're just losing out on new options that you could use like when you're mixing up with someone you're pretty much wasting your time because you're either just karate chopping into one another or grabbing into one another or sitting there blocking um and you don't you can't mix it up with specials or like quicker gr vicious attacks um so none of them are bad are any of these bad i was gonna have a nice joke oh i do have a joke <laughs> I, uh, rocket jump is just kind of rocket jump is not bad it's a cool move just to get around um and as far as like usefulness i guess later in the game you know another mobility option is pretty cool it's just it's 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 like weird to set up uh even the purple one even the purple one is underwhelming because you will never win an exchange with it. Like you can hurt someone with this move if you if you are right on top of them and you pop it. The whole the whole premise of what's happening with Skyrocket is that you're hitting someone, boof, right? You blow up. They they fall over and then you can elbow drop onto them and like boom, that's a combo. Uh, and I mean that's really cool. The thing is, it's like a chargeable one, and the chargeable ones even if you tap it. Um, I guess the game is like acknowledging that like you have a chance to charge it, so it doesn't just come out immediately. So if you go for a skyrocket and someone else goes for a super kick, I mean, maybe unless you guys do it at the exact, I no, I mean if if you go for it and they throw a super kick at you, you're probably just gonna get hit with the super kick. Uh, sometimes it'll clash, but that's only if like they're kind of late uh, on like their input. So it kind of just loses a lot. I, I've been karate chopped out of this move. I've been tackled out of this move. Rocket jump is neat, but I I kind of wish it had a little bit like at least equal priority to its other, you know, homies of the same genre of move, you know, like the sumo slaps and the dolphin dives, and it just kind of loses to them. Uh, Vicious Mist. Did you know that you can cast Vicious Mist in the air? You can land and be above somebody and go whoosh right in their goddamn face. Uh, and it's very annoying. It's it's a hard mix-up to predict. It's very hard to react to. Um, 
and it's annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. Uh, so even if you try to attack into it sometimes, because like they're above you, and you know hitting someone above you, jumping is very good in this game. So yeah, you can jump, and like if they go to attack you, they might just miss completely, and then you vicious miss them anyway, even though they made the read. But the read against vicious missed, if you know your opponent has it, is like jump up around with him activate a super midair you know like jump and try to hit him with a spin or like an atomic punch or something uh or they're just gonna psh ya and uh it sucks because what this does is it just leaves you there to be comboed so it just stuns you it's like uh well you know i have it's like the piece of wood it's the two by four bang you're stunned and then they can just do wh whatever they want you know if they have bombastic they can turn around get you into a wall and then do their whole thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Atomic Punchline is meme tier, but I, it's so fun. It's just a shotgun going off. I think it's worse than the boot, but we always take it over the boot. Because you're... Boom! I'm making content here, okay? Bang! It's just satisfying. <laughs> um, so, you know, it scores additional points. And then it's, you know, it's brother. It's older brother Atomic Punchline. Uh, is my shit. I love Atomic Punchline. It's so much fun. So much fun. And these are all subject to change still, but you know what I was saying about the grabs earlier. It's These are just the better ones. It's inevitable. Because, like, I look at this, and I'm like, you know, is it C tier? And, I mean, well, compared to everything else, yes. Same with this guy. It's, uh, what, Ruby? This one's Ruby Crusher? It's fine. But, you know, there's, there's better ones. It comes out pretty quick, though, like any of the Crushers. Um, which is why I'm going to bump that guy up to here. Comes out real fast. I think... Hmm, I like it over the spin. I like it over the spin for sure. Sumo Slap. I, I hate Sumo Slap very much, but it's so good. It's very good. It, it does so much damage to people. Shields, even if they're not blocking it. You know, like, if they're getting hit by it, you still take all of that shield damage. And I kind of hate it. Because, <laughs> I mean... Ba 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 into a wall. Well, what's my best option? Ba 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 ba. Just do it again. Um. Ooh, it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> it, wait, <coughs> I could be wrong, but I believe you know optimally. If we're gonna talk about it, you know, there might be someone in the comments like, uh, "Excuse me, the optimal play." You could also Irish whip them. You know, so ba ba bang into the Irish whip, into the ba ba ba, and um, ugh, it's miserable. Uh, yeah, this move is insanely good, and, you know, the, the green one isn't as much, but it still comes out pretty quick, and it's it sets you up for a wall splat, you know? Well, m most of these do, but, you know, it sets you up for a wall splat. Bang! You push him, boof, right into a wall. Uh, the poison sumo slap is very good as well. I mean, the, the super one, you know, it, it's insane for what it does to, like, shields. But the blue one can't be slept on either. Uh, it applies poison. And it's like, you can hit more than one person at a time with this, with the boom. and It's quite good. Uh, although the poison one doesn't wall splat, I think? I think. I could be wrong about that if I am. Well, uh, fuck me, I don't know. Giant swing. A giant swing's actually not good. Because it's, you don't choose. You don't choose. Or this one's big swing. This one's giant swing. You don't choose where you're throwing them. I had giant swing in a game. Ugh, I'm gonna have to go find it again. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. You got him. Bye bye. What? You got I'm... one behind you with the stop sign. That was not my angle. I'm mad. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that he's big swing. Oh, I got him. He's 100. percent What? Oh, no. I'm. Fu Maybe you can't aim big swing. I'm starting to find out. Because I fucking angled that shit. I'll do it again. I'm so confused. You can't aim it. You can't aim big swing. You need to have Omega swing. You saw the clip. So that's why giant swing. It's, it's just not as good. Uh, but then you get like, is this called giant swing and this one's big swing? I, I believe that's the thing. I'm sorry. Uh, this guy's so good, depending on where the circle is, uh, at any time, when it's, like, 1v1, or, you know, 1v1v1, or whatever. 
Actually, oh god, there's even more for this uh, in duos. Giant Swing is very good in the situations where there's like almost no circle left and you know they just have so much healing they 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 catch you they knock you up in the air and they chomp a chicken or they have meditate or like sadistic like there's or they pop their ult just to heal and you know the both of you are doing that and the fight's going on forever and your best option it becomes ringing them out uh you know people like watching big number go up uh and I do too but I also like winning, and Giant Swing in the late game is very good. Uh, and then in duos, it's fucking great. Uh, assuming you could even get the grab off, that's the thing. It's great, but there's a lot of startup time to it, so their teammate can interrupt you and whack you with something. Um, but if you grab somebody and there are other people like around you, and they don't disrupt your ass, you start spinning, it does a lot of damage. Like, when you when you throw someone into a wall, like, you're probably underwhelmed by this one. Like, these are, like, you diamond crush someone, and it's like, all right, bang, here's 600 damage. You swing them with the same amount of power is probably like two something. Um, but this is really good for ringing people out. I think it's slept on a little bit. But at the same time, you know, these are, just better javelin is probably uh, it's arguably the best one in the game uh i think the more you play this game the less you think that people are getting used to it but the fact is javelin is it's the it just is so unpredictable because sometimes you're dashing at someone and you take two little baby steps and then your character shits his pants and falls on the ground. And he's like, I don't know what happened. Or you try to jump up in the air and you miss and you <laughs> straight into a wall and you fall on your ass. And your character's like, ah, I don't know what happened. Uh, so it's hilarious. But then on the flip side, you're like across the building and you see someone and just go. Vah! And I don't know if it's a net code thing. I don't know what it's called, latency, I don't know what it's to blame, but you might javelin spear and just boo, just take off like a fucking rocket, and and people, you're left there blinking, like, what? how was I supposed to react to that? Uh, you know, it might be doable if you know it's coming. You, you kind of have to just make the soul read into it and, like, attack in, like, people are jumping all over the fucking place in this game. They might just jump and do a punch. They might just jump and go away. But someone, if you on the corner of your camera and you just see what and <laughs> just a javelin just takes your ass out more than any other move in the game, people are getting javelin speared. Uh, so, yeah, it's very good right now. The, the B1, same shit. It's the same shit. It's very good. The green one. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much the same shit. It, I, I believe the purple one comes out the fastest, I think. Obviously, it hits very hard. Uh, I believe diamond hits harder, typically. But the thing is, when you're fighting on, like, a building, J Javelin is insane. Because you're going, you're going off that building. Whereas the diamond one, I mean, if you, if you, like, uh, dolphin dive into a, uh, diamond crusher, or di whatever it's called. This guy. Ooh, mama. It's very good. It's very hard. Dolphin dive, by the way, uh, is awkward sometimes. I mean, it sets you up for any of these moves. Not the goal shots and the spins and stuff, but like any of the viciouses. You can dolphin dive into a grab. You can dolphin dive into a super. Uh, you, If you time it right on the dolphin dive, you could dolphin dive into another dolphin dive. Or you can dolphin dive, and if they block... You can roll out of it. That's what makes Super Sumo so goddamn annoying. Is probably... No, it's probably something like that. Uh, and it's probably like this. And then I really like the spin. I really, really like the chargeable spin as an option. I think it's really good. By the way, I feel like I haven't talked about this one enough. It's just such a nice option. Like, you can poach people so hard with this move if you see someone in the middle of a three hit regular combo or they're getting ready to irish whip someone you know they're putting in the works and you jump above them and you charge this little spinny do 
you're getting them both. And if you have sadistic, you're healing for a boatload, and then you can easily follow it up with an elbow. It's like so free and guaranteed. Uh, so yeah, I didn't get to talk about this one as much as I wanted to. It's so good. These boys, I mean, they're obviously just worse versions of the Omega one, but they still beat out every other super. So they're still pretty gosh darn good. Uh, you know, they're always, they're always going to contest with drop kicks and I think get up attacks, maybe not get up attacks. I feel like they're supposed, they definitely clash with drop kicks. Uh, having this priority is very strong. It just, it beats out like the super kick. It beats uh, everything beats out, you know, the rocket, but that's besides the point. Uh, volley dive is kind of, you know, it's kind of duty. You can't follow up like with it's, it's. The older brother. So this guy falls down here as well. And that is everything. I feel like I'm being mean to this because, you know, nothing's bad. It's just some are worse than others. But that's it. How long did that take me? Oh my god, it took me like 20 fucking minutes. That was inevitable. Alright, have a wonderful pizza day. Goodbye.